Yoto the Slayer Orts of Hell gets very very intense, but I finally found settings that keep it smooth on the Steam Deck. This is what you get when you combine Norse Mythology and Vampire Survivors. Hi everyone, welcome back to Steam Flow. Today we're checking out the game called Yotun Slayer Hordes of Hell. This is a roguelite bullet hell set in the world of Norse gods, giants and absolute mayhem. You guys know I love playing bullet hell games on the deck and you know how tough they can get, but I found the best settings for this one, so let's jump right in. Yotu Slayer drops you straight into an endless battle against hordes of creatures pulled from Norse mythology. You choose from different heroes, each with unique skills, and take on missions while collecting blessings from gods like Odin, Thor and Freya. The core gameplay feels like a mix of Hades and vampire survivors, there is tight combat, fast upgrades and complete chaos when things heat up. You can actually level your characters outside of combat and there is a nice progression system. Now before I jump into performance, I quickly wanted to say that if you enjoy my Steam Deck coverage content, check out the Steam Flow curated page on Steam. I post quick recommendations for every game I test with settings, tips, performance notes and battery life info. You can also join the Steam Flow community group to chat with other deck users, share your own findings and get notified when I post new reviews. I'll have links for those in the description and I would love if you join. So how does it run on the Steam Deck? Pretty impressively actually, but like most bullet hell games, it's not without its challenges. Now at the lowest settings, the game hits 90 FPS early on, but by the time the screen fills with enemies, it can drop to around 65-70 FPS. By the way, all of these settings have been tested with FSR 3 set to quality. The game does support upscaling, which is pretty cool. Now on medium settings, you start at about 70 FPS, but it can dip under 50 FPS when things get really hectic. On high settings, it will give you around 60 FPS, but you often see dips to 45 or 50 FPS. All of these settings, by the way, will yield a battery life of about 2 hours and 30 minutes on the OLED. And at very high settings, it starts at around 55-60 but can even dip below 40 in the most intense moments. Now there are some good news, the game includes a built-in FPS limiter and it lets you lock it to 45 FPS which makes a massive difference for smoothness and battery life and particularly great for the OLED. Now my recommended settings for the best balance of visuals, performance and battery life, this is what I recommend on the OLED. Set the resolution to 800p set vsync to off, fps limit to 45, overall quality set that to very high, texture quality high, shadow quality high, you can push this to very high so this is not the highest option but you dip more often below 45 so just leave it at high, bloom and ambient occlusion set these to on, anti-aliasing set that to smaa medium and fsr3 set to quality. Now with these settings I get pretty solid 45 FPS in almost all situations, like 99% of the time, even in the most chaotic end game stages, and it will also give you around 2 hours and 45 minutes of battery life on the OLED. You can dip below 45, for example I did notice it dip to 40, 42, but only for a second, so it is pretty stable. The game has full controller support and it can be played completely offline and it currently costs 10 euros, which I think is a no brainer and absolute worth check it out and get it for your Steam Deck. If you're into Norse mythology, chaotic roguelike combat and love tweaking your settings for the perfect experience, Yoto Slayer is worth a shot. That's gonna be it for this one folks, if you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like, it really helps me out a lot. Subscribe for more Steam Deck content and please let me know in the comments what game should I test next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.